Pshin, Sanava, I Dobra, Pajalavat, Obratno, Fujit, Blitz, or <laughs> in English now. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. And today we're going to look at the Russian Tier X Collector. That is the T22M. Ah, oh, another crate tank, and we say Niet Tarzovich because we don't like crates and we certainly don't like expensive ones. But before we get into that, let's have a look at this beastie. Well, there it is. It's a Tier X medium tank. It's like a mix between an IS-7 and a T-62, sort of. It's got that piky-nosed armor. Damage-wise, it's going to churn out 310. Rate of fire, wow, you've got 10.5 rounds a minute. Penetration, 252. Armor is pretty good, 179. Speed, 35k. And rotation is 57.99. Looking at the more detailed stats, hit points, you got 1,850. Pretty low for a tier X. Your armor, as you can see there, it's pretty trolly. Don't forget this is a medium. View range, over 300 meters. Camo, not bad, just above average. DPM, 3,261 a minute. I mean, that is colossal. Basically knocking out reload time of just over five and a half seconds. Penetration wise on your APR, APCR, which is your standard ammo, 252. On your heat, which is your premium ammunition, 330. And on your HE, 55. Damage wise, you're gonna knock out 310 on your APCR, 260 on your heat, 420 on your HE. Aim time, just over three seconds. Dispersion, not too bad. Depression, six degrees, pretty pants, but mm, Top speed, 55 going forwards, 20 going backwards, with an average of 35. And as you can see there, there's all the weights and all that sort of jazz that people are interested in. But what's the armor like? Well, this is the armor, and it's got that funky donkey pike nose and a pretty solid turret. This thing is made to go haul down. And as you see here, when I play with the armor inspector, if you put it haul down, I mean, look at it, it just turns big and red apart from that triangle which you're trying to hide when you go haul down it's a beautiful tank however it comes at a cost now this tank first hit wargaming in the new year's tree event you could get it two ways you could have been very lucky and got it in a lucky spin or you could have spent a shed load of money and basically got it outright when you decorated your tree so it was never a cheap tank, unless you had it in the lucky spin. It was never been released into the stores until now. And it's coming still with a hefty price tag, to be perfectly fair. There are three t ways you can get this. There are two special containers, and there's your normal containers. Let's look at the specials first. So for the price of $10, or £8.30, or €9, Euros, you can buy one container, and you get an extra one thrown in. That's two containers for the price of one. Or you can buy five containers and get an extra one, which is six containers, for $50, or 41 quid or €45. Euros. Here's the tricky part, guys the drop rate is 5%. So you need to be aware of that. There's no guarantee you're gonna get a tank, not with a 5% drop rate. Now, once you've used your two specials, then you buy one container for the price of $10 or £8.30 or nine euros. Now, few of you will be lucky. You'll get this in the first couple of containers. Some of you will not. It is a 5% drop rate. The other thing you need to know is that you do not get the equipment unlocked. Sorry guys, you just don't get it. What you do get is the tank, a garage slot, some up to 30 epic boosters, up to 30 rare boosters, up to three certificates for 28,000 free XP, or 1,000 gold, blah, blah, blah. You get a load of benefits. If you already have the tank, you get 15,000 gold as compensation for the vehicle. So Wargaming are valuing this tank quite highly, to be honest with you. But is it worth the money? It's a rare tank. It's a good tank. It's a fantastic tank. It's an amazing tank. But, and it's a huge but with a capital B U N T containers. You are gambling here, chaps. It's, there's no two ways about it. If this tank came into the store for, say, 15,000 gold, I would tell you to bite their hand off. 
if this tank came in the store for I don't know forty dollars I would say consider it it's coming in the store as a container and that really makes me sit in and say guys you've got to be careful I don't agree with containers personally it's it's not a thing I agree with I think that wargaming need to get rid of them urgently um, I think it's a, a horrible way to get rid of tanks and input tanks out there like I said it's a beautiful tank don't get me wrong it's a lovely tank but I can't in good conscience tell you to go out there and drop a shed load of money on containers I just can't do that it's it's not for me to say if however you want this tank and it is a great tank by all means if you've got the budget you've got the money and you're that way inclined crack on I who am I to tell you otherwise this is a good friend of mine MVT Syria of the clan Daunt rolling out in his T22 medium uh, recently now the tank as I say is a beautiful tank guys I mean it's got great armor it is not really a pay to win even though some people say it's a pay to win it's not I mean you still need the skill you still need to understand the tank and you can still get wasted blown away and treated badly by other tanks in the game so it's by no means pay to win it's not ridiculously OP it has got great armor it has got a great gun but as you can see there you will bounce and you do bounce on this thing penetration values for its tier aren't exactly great damage output for its tier aren't exactly great either but it does have fantastic armor and it's got a great reload but this is nowhere near OP and if anybody says it is then I'm sorry guys I totally disagree in fact I always disagree with OP tanks I don't think the tanks generally OP apart from the Keniotsu <laughs> I think it's the player that's OP because you stick the worst tank in the game in you know one of the best players in the game's hands and you'll make it look OP doesn't make the tank OP though does it so you're not getting an OP tank for your book and okay it's taken eight months for this tank to basically get into the game into the store sorry what would my advice be my advice would be as follows guys I would wait I would hold fire this tank will hit the store again maybe in six months time with the amount of premium tanks that are being released by wargaming almost two a week I would save you money at this stage I would not gamble on these crates this tank at the moment is probably going for an equal price that it was going for when it was first introduced way back in that New Year's tree event I would really tell you to hold fire because they will release it again um, this is you know the Scorpion G has been released recently and now this one these are the two tanks that haven't been in the stores for a long time and they've come into the stores almost back to back hold fire wait six months the tank could be there if you're that desperate to get it if you're that if it's that urgent for you and I would say it's not a must-have by the way I would not say this is you know your garage must have this tank I wouldn't say that what I would say is it's a nice tank to have it's a beautiful tank to roll around in but it's not a must-have so be careful if you can afford it if you want it if you've got that spare cash crack on I, I, nobody else can tell you what to do with your money all I'm saying is it's a big gamble you know you can buy the crates and you may not get the tank it's a 5% drop guys 5% which means you could end up spending close to $100 on it in real terms anyway this is my good friend you will report me of the clan shop 3 and this replay is literally hot off the presses he was quite lucky he got it in um, I think it was in the I can't remember what container it was now he did tell me and I've completely forgotten but he got it in uh, you know quite early doors he didn't spend that much on it and he rolled out in it as soon as he got it which was today and he sent me this replay which is nice it's always nice to get replays um, like I said I can't knock the tank I really can't I mean it's a beautiful tank but it's not a game changer it's not a pay to win and your garage is not complete without it so 
All I'm saying is, emergent caution, guys. Great tank. Shitty containers. Crappy price tag. Enough said. Anyway, as you saw there, I mean, I forgot to say, um, MVT Syria of Daunt. That was a fantastic mastery. 7,000 damage. You can do that in this tank. But he's a good player. So don't think getting this tank, you're all going to roll out and do 7,000. I mean, it's never going to happen. Um, unless you're a good player and you get that look. Because it's still a tricky tank. In all honesty. I mean, this is not a tank that... If you've got a 45% win rate and you've only done 6,000 battles, you should be buying because you won't get on with it. You need to understand its armour. You need to understand what it can do. And, you know, this is why some of the better players in the game, like MVT Syria, is able to get that 7,000 damage out of it. Not everybody can do that. And not everyone's going to get on with this tank. And if you put it in the wrong place, you angle it the wrong way, you don't go haul down enough, you will get punished. And you will get punished big time. Because the wrong angle, and the, not the haul down position, your, your armour is pretty paper thin and everything can pen you. You haven't got the best DPM, really. You haven't got the best penetration, really. But it is good. I mean, you've got a great reload. You're dishing out 300 odd damage, which is what T62 Object 140 territory. And that's the thing you have to remember this is not a heavy, this is a medium. And with the speed and everything, it has to sacrifice something, and it sacrifices armor. Okay, it's got the pike nose, but that means it's fantastic when it's hauled down. And it is, it is beautiful hauled down. You stick this thing not hauled down, and you will seriously get punished now as you can see here you will report me obviously oh, it, it just got smacked there massively the sides on this thing by the way are pretty trolly um and if you face hook like this it's pretty difficult but you know now he's getting pen left right and he's lost almost all his hit points in this little, small little brawl here and now he's gone he's dead he's out of there but he gave it a good go 4464 hardly any bounce 620 but he gave it a good bash. And that's the thing with this tank. Anyway, <clears throat> he gets a well deserved mastery, 28, 22,800 credits, and he killed one tank. You can't complain about that. But the thing is, as I said, you can get hurt in it. And you saw my game earlier, I get hurt in it. I still got a mastery, but I got hurt in it. And you can see here, with um, you will report me of chop three. He also got a mastery, but got hurt at the same time. So, that's the T22 Medium, currently in the stores now, in containers. Very naughty. I've been Fujit, I'd like to offer my big thanks to MVT Syria of Daunt, and you will report me of Chop3 for kindly sharing their mastery replays in the T22 Medium. By all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe, really nice thing to do. By all means, if you've got any decent replays, send them over to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Join my Discord server, you can upload them easier there. You can even follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and also Instagram. And until the next time, guys, I will say the following. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. And don't gamble too much, seriously. You know, if you're going to do it, buy a couple of containers, try your luck. Aside from that, guys... Wait, is my advice. So, until the next time.